Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6. And we are playing as America. Now, just before we get into the game, I wanted to do a quick double check here of the abilities. So, we are playing with a couple of mods, but we'll talk about those in a moment. Uh, the main bonus that Roosevelt brings is that units receive a plus five combat strength on their home continent and plus one appeal to all tiles in a city with a national park. And they gain the Rough Rider unique unit when they research the rifling technology. Okay, that seems like. Seems like they're pretty good at being defensive, okay. Uh, they also get the Founding Fathers benefit, which is earn all government legacy bonuses in half the usual time. That seems like a pretty decent bonus, uh, depending on how you do things. So, we're gonna go talk about the Rough Rider, the P-51 Mustang, and the Minutemen now in a moment here. So, it was the uh, P-51 Mustang, here we go. The P-51 Mustang that has plus one, plus five attack against fighter aircraft, has plus two fight flight range, and gets plus 50% experience. And you know, it's uh, I think it costs about the same. Yeah, so it's just a it's just a slightly improved version. Uh, and then the Rough Rider is another cool unit. It's a modern era unique unit that replace. Uh, it doesn't replace modern armor. It comes in between the whatever comes before modern armor and knights i think it is i think it's knights your knights uh tanks sorry yes so, the, so they come from uh they come just before tanks right i'm not sure exactly the point in the game but pretty much just before tanks they'll appear and they um they get culture from kills in their capital's continent and they get plus 10 combat strength when fighting on hills and they have a lower maintenance cost so those, those are pretty okay bonuses. Not crazy good, but they're like a unique tank unit, essentially. Uh, and then the other unit they had was the Minutemen. Now, this is introduced by the mod that we're playing with. We're going to talk about that mod in a moment here. Uh, the American Unique Industrial Area Unit that replaces the Muskeman. Weaker than the Muskeman, but cheaper to build and maintain, and gains plus five combat strength when fighting in adjacent or two, or in its home. Basically, when it's fighting defensively, it gets plus five combat strength and plus five in force. So the actual Musketman is a 55 melee strength unit so you could pretty much think of the minutemen uh so it's 160 cost right and the musketman is 240 so it's 30 percent 33 percent cheaper okay so you pay two-thirds of the price and defensively it is the same strength so it's weaker on offense okay but it also has an added bonus of being stronger in forest or jungle so it's actually overall this is a pretty damn good unit the minimum. So I so looking at the bonuses here of America, you know, if you take all of them together, in my opinion, they they seem like they are very well suited to a um to both a tourism victory and a um conquest victory. So with that in mind, we're going to be playing for a tourism victory. Now, I know we've done a tourism game recently, but I wanted to do an America game on True Start Location. So we're playing True Start Location Earth, the base game version of that. So we're starting on um, in America. Uh, there is a couple of mods that we're using. We're using the Even More Units mod pack that adds lots of new units to all the civilizations. And we're also using the NQ District changes. Now, links to those mods will be in the description of the video. So don't worry about it. You don't even have to go look them up. Although I highly encourage you if you want to. Now we're starting over here on the right hand coast or the eastern coast of America. I think this is supposed to be the Appalachian Mountains. And then these are the Great Lakes. And here's Florida, America's Little Willy. Uh, so I suppose we'll turn on the yield icons. And then we'll get started settling in a moment. Now I could move to this hill and settle on this hill. But I do want to be coastal as America. Because they have a pretty good... Because, I mean, America is, you know, it's a sort of semi-traditionally coastal sort of uh, country. So the big thing we're going to want to explore here is run a little bit to the left here. So, yeah, there's the Great Lakes. Here's, uh, I think that's supposed to be the Mississippi uh, River. I'm not sure. Maybe it's like kind of the Mississippi plus a few other rivers combined. And uh, Florida is a swamp as usual. Thankfully, there is no luxury crocodile resource. Although, I wouldn't put it past those Floridians. So... This is excellent because I actually do want to go for some sort of religion. So picking up this really early would be cool. Uh, I mean, there is something to be said for other things, but I think this is a, is a decent thing. So I'm going to lock in that tobacco. 
and I'm going to have a look here and think about what we're going to do next. Now, I could go ahead and pick up a Slinger or a Scout. I think I'll pick up a Scout here. A Scout, in my opinion, is a pretty standard thing. Oh, d just to confirm, we're playing on online game speed for a faster game, and we're playing on DD difficulty. Just in case I didn't make that clear. So, if we look at uh, our current setup, probably our best bet would be to get Sailing. As it would let us get our Builder online pretty early to... Uh, pick up some of these uh, crabs and that's kind of my best option here at the moment so I'm gonna pick up the uh, I'm gonna pick up sailing real early and then I'll probably be going straight into astrology right after that let's try and get a religion because I would like a religion in this game uh, now why exactly would I want a religion well you know America has some use for national natural uh, natural parks so I want to at least get a... Oh, it looks like there's an industrial city. I think that might be Toronto. I want to go up there and meet them. Get the plus two production in my city when building projects. Because that's going to be very helpful throughout the game. If I manage to pick that up. Alright, so we found Toronto. And we got the free envoy. Pretty happy about that. And their quest is to trigger an inspiration for state workforce. Now that is actually something we're going to do. We're definitely going to be picking up state workforce. Because we fully intend to... Uh, to build a district. Okay, so we're working these two tiles. I'm pretty happy about that. We are not far away from getting our Pantheon. We have not found any, um... Any goodie hut yet, but that's, you know... That's not a guarantee. Okay, so we're going to quickly build a builder. And then we're probably going to go into a settler, depending on... Uh, how long it takes us to get... Astrology. Oh, could I get a settler in time for astrology? No, I wouldn't get a settler in time, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna instead go for a builder. Lots of room for us to settle cities over here, which is really great. I'm happy to see that. And I'm gonna pick up the faster movement in woods and rainforest uh, promotion here because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of there's a lot of hills and jungles and stuff around here so I want to be careful on that especially when we're going down to the Amazon which we will be exploring at some point all right so we have a builder coming out here As is best. city will grow soon so we just finished code of laws I think the thing we're gonna pick up is plus one production actually I could pick up the plus one faith in gold just to really quickly get that pantheon out and I think I will do that I think I will do that so I'm gonna do that and then I'll pick up the double experience for recon units so that my recon units Okay, so this is bad. We found Aztecs. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't be there, but they're there. Uh, because they're really scary. They have um, the Eagle Warriors. So we want to get to early Empire as fast as possible, so we're going to go down to Foreign Trade. So we're making quite a quite a decent chunk of, um, of faith here now. We should get our Pantheon really, really quickly. Oh, yes. This is a dangerous move, but... Um, it's worth it. <laughs> I've done this in so many games, but it's gonna go poorly for me. I just know it. Okay. So where are we going to settle? Um, we're going to move here. I would really like to settle there, but I don't know if I'll get the opportunity. I might have to settle on these cows. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to settle on the cows. We do have a Pantheon. And we are going to pick up the unit per production one. Hmm. I don't think the unit production one super helps me here. I think I'll pick up the, uh, I would like something that gives me faith. But I think the God of the Forge here is just kind of what I have to do. 
And then in Los Angeles, we will be picking up the... Uh, let's see, Slinger? I would want to purchase a Slinger here. I need to move this guy out. And then I will purchase a Slinger. I'll bring this warrior down here to defend the city. So we're off to a very aggressive and ant antagonistic start. Cross the river, get onto the hill. A little bit of extra defense, hopefully, is how that's going to work. Oh, I moved him out of my territory. That was a mistake. I should have kept him inside my territory. I'm going to build this fishing boat. That should make that tile attractive to work. Uh, over that faith tile. We got the Pantheon that we wanted. And now... We can get a galley. Or what should we get? Should we get settlers? Let's have a look at the settler map mode. Not a very good city over here, but it's uh, it was a stolen settler, so it's going to work out in our favor. And plus, it blocks him from settling over here, which is what we want. Uh, could have been a great Petra city actually if I had moved it over here, but I was, there's no way there's no way I was going to go for Petra as a as a non as a non China. So we have one turn here to burn. So I'm going to grab a second slinger next turn. I'm going to hopefully look for peace. Yeah, see, I should have kept him inside my, uh, should have kept him inside my borders. That was a mistake I made. Now this guy can make his way over to get these mines online. We'll get mining and animal husbandry. We need to do those improvements. Our ra uh, Slinger is ready to promote. Hopefully this guy shouldn't be able to get a kill on us now. We'll move him back and we'll give him plus 10 combat threat when occupying a fort. Or... Or city. And um, we're going to build another settler here. No, we want to build a holy site. And now where exactly do I want to put the holy site? Because that's a good question. Um, and I think here's probably my best bet. If I check now... There are people going for great profits. When you find yourself in a hole, we have mining. It should be a pretty tasty hit to this guy. Bam! Move you inside our territory, so you're a little bit stronger. Plus five home continent bonus strength, and then take a minor defeat hit. Okay. This should be a kill. Wow, really? Hmm. I'm going to build the mine here. Great. We're going to throw another slinger shot at this guy. And we're going to hit him with our warrior. Nice. Okay. We killed off that eagle warrior. How do you feel about peace? He's not ready for peace yet. But we managed to get a city out of it. Didn't cost us anything, really. To get that city, to be honest. We kind of got away with murder there. In heaven. If there are no dogs in heaven, we just got progress towards early empire. And we finished foreign trade, which is great. Which means we can switch over here now to plus one production in all cities. And the construction of naval area units. May as well stick that in there. Remove this guy here. Move you there. You're going to level up for a battle cry. Um, let's see here. Okay, so... We're getting our holy site. So it's probably time we look into picking up something here. We want to go holy site theater district, so I want to see what can I get here to help me, help me in my endeavors. I think just unlocking, like... Tile improvements would be good, but I think also finding like iron and stuff like that. So I will grab uh, irrigation here so that I can get my luxuries online with my next builder. So you won't be able to do anything till next turn. And then we're going to go for early empire. Um, once we hit that, we should be able to, in theory, uh, go for the... Uh, for the things we want 
Okay, state workforce has advanced considerably, right? Should get this kill. We just got archery Eureka and horseback riding Eureka, so we're getting a bunch of Eurekas for stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to go for Holy Side Prayers here, because I just want to quickly get a religion. That's the goal, just quickly nab one. Okay, so we just unlocked pottery. That's great. Let's fortify here. Did I purchase that tile? Maybe we won't purchase that tile. Um, but there is a barbarian encampment over here. All right, he wants to make peace and he's going to give us gold. That's great for me. You just fortify until you're healed here. Okay, so how far away are we from that? Okay, so two more turns and we should nab it just quickly. Next turn. Oh, so, oh did somebody build the Stonehenge? That's really bad. If somebody just built the Stonehenge. Yeah, they did. Um, I'm going to keep you in the city because you're upgraded to defend. Um, otherwise, get to work on a monument. The city is in a bad position. It's a, it's actually a really terrible city. Um, but I got it for free and I can make it into a good city with all this land. I mean, it wouldn't have really been much better here except for the fact that it would have had extra housing. Um, we'll pick up a granary here, actually. No, I think, I think the monument's important. Okay, so it looks like Toronto cleared out that um, thing. The barbarian encampment. Next turn. They should... If, if somebody else doesn't manage to snag a religion, this should result in a religion. And it did. Awesome. So we managed to get a really early religion. Uh, there's a encampment there. God damn it. So we got a super, super fast religion, which is great. Uh, we've got two turns to burn. So let's see here. Um, the shrine. So, oh yes, yeah, something to talk about. <laughs> One of the mods here that I, I haven't actually talked about this yet, but now that we have a district, it's time to talk about it. So the big change in this mod is the NQ mod. What it does is instead of most of your resource generation coming from building buildings, it comes from your citizens working the citizen slots in the city. So if I want a lot of fate, I'll get some from building the shrine. But the big thing is it gives me this plus 15% faith modifier. And then when I put workers in there, I'm going to get three faith per worker. So if you want a lot of faith, you're going to have to actually put, you know, citizens towards it. So the question is, I think I want to get a monument here. And then very quickly, I'm going to want a theater square to follow that up in my capital. So we are going to, so what are we? We are Washington. So we are going to be forming the, hmm, let's have a look here at these religions. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. We could form the goat religion. We could form the crab religion. What would be a good American meme religion? Is there an eagle? Is there an eagle or a bird of some sort? There is a bird here, but there's no eagle. I'll tell you what. We will call this religion. So the first tenet of the religion is... Well, that's our pantheon belief. So I don't think the pantheon matters. We will call this religion... Corp no. What's like the America? What's like the thing people make fun of America for? Fast food. Yeah, let's call it the fast food religion. So we'll make it the no, guns. What are the guns and what are the two things that like America are known for? Like, like, like if you think like if you like think of a stereotypical America, like fat people with guns. Like that's the that's the joke, right? So we'll call them guns. Guns. And food. America. Oh, that's got an eagle. A pretend eagle. Alright, so if we're doing guns and food, that means we need to make some mad uh, choices here. So, Zen meditation. Oh. Uh, amenities could be really good here. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Extra food could be really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the. Oh, uh, but that's just not. It's not as good as the amenities.
So if we're going for guns and food, we want things to fight. We want something to fight with. So we're gonna we're gonna let's have a look at the founder belief. And we're gonna want defender of the faith. So we definitely want defender of the faith to keep ourselves safe, but we're also gonna want to pick up something that'll help us. Um Shrines and temples generate food, or shrines and temples generate housing. I think we'll go for food, because I think that's like more guns and food themed. So we're going to go Defender of the Fate and Shrines and Temple give food. All right, so we have the we have the makings of our of our guns and food religion. So we lost our scout, so I actually would like to purchase a scout to keep scout arenoing. I can't actually purchase a scout here. I can purchase one over here, though. Get a bit of scouting done. Uh, I need to send some units down here to deal with this. I would like to get the archery upgrade, actually. That would be that would be good. So he he called peace with me, which is great because I managed to nab a nab a nab a saddler of his. We're gonna finish this monument and then we're gonna get to work on building a couple of saddlers before we stop off for a theater square. Uh, I will pick up archery. I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Um. Then I will get to work on uh, getting to currency. I'm going to want those early commercial hubs. Do a little bit of exploring. Oh, wow. Yeah, I could have had a really great Petra city over here. I mean, there's still potential for a city here somehow. Uh, if I have a look at here at the settler map mode. Yeah, I could like drop a city here. This could be food and then use these as like an industrial zone, something or other. Um, we'll see what we can pull off there on that front. I'm going to send this guy down here to potentially deal with this barbarian encampment. I'll send you up here to do a bit of exploring. Uh, let's double check that we're working good stuff over here. Yeah, I like these tiles that we're working. A uh, little light on food, but it's not going to be the end of the universe. We would like another builder in this city as well, actually, so we might purchase one as soon as we have it available, yeah, that option. Um... Toronto is kind of an annoying place because it's kind of blocking me from making more cities, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to slot in now the 50% production towards settlers. And then we are going to call that a wrap. 50% uh, 50, 50 production towards settlers. Confirm. So, then we're going to build a settler. You're going to cross this river. You're going to head down here. You're going to stay there. Keep exploring a little bit. Next turn. Uh, let us be joined in friendship against the evils of this world. We're happy to let the world we stand united as friends. Okay, I guess he wants to be friends? Wait, why is he friends with me? Our relationship. I just, I just declared war on him, stole a settler, got into a fight with him essentially, and then he's like, hey, you know what, dude? Let's, let's be buddies. <laughs> I should get to know this guy. I'm going to send him a delegation. Wow, he's really happy to take a delegation off me. What? I guess he was just super happy. Oh, maybe it's because I haven't taken any luxuries that he doesn't have. Maybe he just like really values that. I don't know. Oh my God, there's so much desert over here. There's some really bad cities that are going to go there. Uh, I'm going to level this. I'm going to shoot. Oh, that's bad. So I want to station some units here to hopefully block him from, from getting out. Oh, we found Leventa. Okay, now I'm going to level this guy up to do plus five range strength against land units. Did I actually pick up archery is the question. I did. So I could definitely... Definitely look into doing that. Do a little more exploration with this guy. Um, I'm going to level you up. Move you here and then level you up for faster movement. All right, Settler is about to pop out. And now we got to make a little bit of a decision about where we're going to settle this Settler. There is an argument to be made for here to get the most out of our land. If we settle here, that means we could settle here as well. And this would let us capture a lot of essentially Kind of crappy land, actually. We have a really bad land situation, so we might have to go to war again early. 
I think I'll settle here. I'll call this a city of some sort. We'll just leave it as a blank pin, but we know that we want to settle over there. And then we'll go into our next turn. So for some reason, this monument is taking longer and longer, even though... Oh, it's because I removed the plus one production thing. Yeah, this city has really bad production, which isn't the end of the world. It's not great for the city, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we should be able to get another settler. And then I'll upgrade this archer, I think, is a reasonable thing to do. This is bad. Fortify. I guess I, I had kind of underestimated the Teddy Roosevelt plus five combat strength on a home continent. It actually is pretty decent now that I'm looking at it because a lot of the early game fighting you're going to be doing is on your home continent. So of course it's a good bonus. Um... I hope an AI unit doesn't decide to just sit there, because I swear to God, it's going to make me rage quit. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to call this... Delegation is most welcome. I think I'm going to call this the end, the very end of the first episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember, if you want to see more of me playing the game, that you can subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos come out. If you want to directly support my channel, please leave a like on the video. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please let me know how you feel about this by leaving a comment or something like, like that. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.